Hi everyone! It's that time again. Thirty seconds to air. Oh hi, I'm Donnie. I need to know how many people would like to partake in our little game. Still just me. Okay then, one indivisible. Fantastic. Now enter your name for me. No. Well, I'm not calling you blank. That's ridiculed, Ness. Let's call you Playa. Because you are such a Playa, Playa. Indeed. Fantastic. Now listen up for your instructionals. Questions will ameliorize before you. Select the boutonniere next to the correct answer. There is a timer, so the sooner you buzz in, the more Sumerians you will make. <laughs> or surrender. Okay, folks, we're getting close. Vroom, vroom. I'm a car. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Why is there a kid back here? Uh, I'm gonna go with broken condom. Ten seconds. All my breath. That's a Check good guess. Six. Five. God, the move was able to. That's better. This is Cookie Masterson, and I bet you think it's funny to be playing episode 69, don't you? No. <laughs> yeah. Did you want to play alone, or did you get stood up again? And today's wrong answer of the game is I brought to you to. by Just Hair Hair Superstore. We'll supply you with real human hair without asking any embarrassing personal questions. Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. You know I have plenty of hair. I don't need Okey this doke. prize. This is really happening. Then again, I didn't need any of the others. Except for maybe the toilet on them. First no, up. We'll just biding his time. Imagine what it must have been like when Barack Obama and his family first walked into the White House. That very first day must have been something. If the United States number two man, Vice President Joe Biden, had decided to go number two in every bathroom in the White House, what would the Obamas have had to do to clear the air? Open 47 windows, light 35 matches, spray 23 spritzes of Glade air freshener, or turn on 11 exhaust fans. I have no idea how many bathrooms there are. 23 sounds good. Nope. You still stink. <laughs> Were you thinking of this one? There are 35 bathrooms in the White House, so they would have had to wave 35 matches to air the place out. But you know, Biden seems like a real meat and potatoes kind of guy. Probably be more like 60 matches. Could be. Take a good look at this book needs more electrolytes. Which means it's time for this or that. I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, tell me if it's a Dean Koontz novel or a Gatorade flavor. If it's a Dean Koontz novel, I'm gonna press be one on your keyboard. If it's a Gatorade flavor, press the number two. Get one right, and you'll get a refreshing $300. Get one wrong, and you'll experience the horror that is losing 300 bones. And you've only got 30 seconds. Ow. Alrighty then, here it comes. Glacier Freed. Winter Moon. Cool Blue. Cold Fire. Riptide Rock. Night Chill. Icebound. Not bad. Six out of seven. Hmm. Average. Your Gatorade flavor must be Tepid Stroll. I don't drink Gatorade. Probably should instead of pop. And if you add up but the amount know. of Gatorade flavors with the number of Dean Koontz novels you get... Hey, let me just add this up on my calculator here. Ah, well, it appears the number is infinity. <laughs> Could be. I'm not much of a Dean Koontz fan either. Try this on for size. Saturday Night Life. Which of these modern era SNL cast members wasn't alive the Saturday night that Saturday Night Live first debuted? Seth Meyers, Kristen Wiig, Bill Hader, or Will Forte? Hmm. Which one's the youngest? Kristen Wiig, probably. Oh, honestly. Nope. Bill Hader was born in 1978, but... three years after SNL's 1975 premiere. There are a couple other cast members who are younger than the show, but I can never remember their names. Girl who never gets in any scene, other girl who pretty much never gets in any scenes, and guy who mostly just raps. <laughs> Not unless Wig is the only actress in history to lie about her age in the opposite direction. <laughs> and speaking of wigs, you've just won 
A bag of hair from the Just Hair Hair Superstore. Use it to make a wig, stuff a disgusting pillow, or just as a conversation starter. A bag of hair. All up for this the pillow. This wrong answer of the game just got you an extra 4,000 no, smackers. Can, Congratulations. Can give that to. Study F. Here we have, even forever. celebrities get ticks. If the staff from TMZ were actual parasites, what wouldn't you see on their show? A tapeworm gossiping about Heidi Montag? A botfly chatting with Kim Kardashian? A pinworm provoking John Gosselin? Or a red worm ridiculing Lindsay Lohan? <laughs> red worms are a type of earthworm and therefore do not rely on a host for survival. I can remember what pen warms How many were. times do I have to accidentally leak bikini pictures of myself to get some press? At this rate, I will never have a VH1 celeb reality show. And I think we can all be grateful for that. How about, I refuse to believe that children are our future. Look at me, I'm Toby, I'm on the show. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, whose kid is this? Yeah, we haven't been able to figure that out. Hey kid, you had a good time hanging out here? Yeah, I had a candy bar with nuts in it. Then I ran them round and around and around. And I drew on the cue cards. I had two sodas and I hopped like this and I hopped like this. And then I licked all the cameras. And I had two more candy bars with nuts in it. And I fought all the monsters. And I flew up and I started shooting everybody. Pew, pew, pew. And everybody said, yay, Tommy. And then they gave me another soda and karate chop. I kill you with my karate chop. Holy crap. What kind of candy bars might Toby have eaten? Butterfingers, Milky Ways, Wonka bars, or Baby Roots? Bars with nuts in them? Yeah, Toby said he ate three candy bars with nuts in them. And the Baby Ruth is the only candy bar here with nuts. Uh, I'm starting to feel kind of tired. Yeah, you're crashing from having all that sugar. I'm gonna lie down right here. <laughs> You know, I'm not a big fan of kids, but he's kind of adorable. Ooh, cookie? Yes, Toby? What's a 69? Somebody get this kid out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Round one is in the books. And you're in pretty good shape, for now. Remember, in round two, every question is worth double. Let's move on, shall we? Coming up, tag, you're vaporized. Ow. Prior to the construction of the first laser in 1960, which of the following competitive tag games might you have found physicists playing on a Saturday afternoon? Fiber optic tag, LED tag, microwave radiation tag, or super hadron collider tag? Uh, the only one that makes sense would be microwaves. The existence of the microwave, known as the predecessor of the laser, was first demonstrated by Heinrich Hertz in 1886. Microwave radiation tag was kind of like flag football, but instead of ripping off a flag, you'd irradiate your opponent and then rip off a limb. Questions. Eh, why not? Or he could just cook them and eat them. And on its way, party, don't anyway. eat the yellow flowers. Which flower is not yellow, like its name suggests? Sunflower, cornflower, buttercup, or goldenrod? Huh. I know that is, I know that is. I'm pretty sure cornflowers are. Uh... Cornflowers aren't yellow like yellow corn. Yeah. They're purplish bluish, like that corn they use to make those freakish blue corn chips. Likewise, these corns on my feet aren't yellow either. Well, they started out that way, but as they developed more infected pus, they've turned more of a sea green. Lord, didn't chickens pick it up? Yeah, good luck with that. Guess I'll marry eight. Hey, it's been 69 games. Why not try kitty conversations? Ooh. Last night I was talking to my cats when the phone rang and and somebody said sorry oh no. wrong number. Billy. Uh, one's made of skin, one's made of wood. Uh, why aren't these in the Facebook group? The Not me. So do you uh, want to tell a joke? Anything's deader than listening to you, you neuron. <laughs> Just tell the joke. Hey, Cookie, what kind of D's produce milk? I don't know, Billy. What kind of bees produce milk? Deedies, daddies, doodies, or dundledees. Huh. 
They can't even these that produce milk or duties. Billy, I that's really disgusting. Maybe that. to you, you loser. Really Billy, you really need to clean up your act. Great, let's start with you taking a shower. You smell like a wet nuscox. All right, back in the box. No, wait, I can't breathe in there. You don't deserve to breathe after that joke. The hell this happened one's there? This known as Conquistador Air. What do Nicolas Cage and Don Quixote have in common? They both have a home in La Mancha, they both were born with different names, both have had run-ins with windmills, or they both have lower back taps. Don Quixote didn't start out as Don Quixote, did he? Nick Cage was born as Nicolas Coppola, and Don Quixote was born as Alonzo Quijano. Yeah, Nick didn't want to have the last name Coppola tarnish his career as a respected artist. Yeah, that would let me go. Seriously, what happened with Nine back there? Say hello to the long and winding showed. So, you know how the person who performs Jewish circumcisions is called a moil? Well, now you do. Anyway, <laughs> if over the course of his career, a moil manages to collect four score foreskins, what retirement gift to himself could he make from them? An eight foreskin wallet, a 24 foreskin scarf, a 40 foreskin pair of shoes, or an 80 foreskin leather jacket? Yeah, score's 20, I believe. Four score means four times 20, or 80 foreskins. And of course, when the moil rubs his leather jacket, it grows into a leather jumpsuit. Works for me. I, I could use a self coat. go to the attack. When you see two that clues just that match, press the number one. Four thousand if you're right, but if you're wrong, you lose four thousand. And of course, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. You are my evil minions. Thoughtlessly obey and complete this jack attack. Good luck. Stormtroopers. Where are they? That was weird. Oh. Wicked Witch had the flying monkeys. Which one will I not know? The Shredder has the foot plan. Come on. Give me one I don't know. Peter Repulsa has the putties, I think they were called. Sauron has nuts. Well, it depends what. Okay, orcs. He could have gone with several ways for Sauron there. Voldemort has Death Eaters, I think it was. Bleed Fans works for me too. Amy Jones has. Yeah. Bada boom. There it is! I think MTV should make a reality show where they put an orc and a stormtrooper and a foot soldier and all the rest in a beach house and then see who fights and who hooks up. Oh, did you finish? Oh, okay. I, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> That'll do it, folks. What's going on, Donnie? Just give me the single if you want to proceed with continuation. And that will be Ow! another wrong, successful baby? week of Let's Play totally You Don't Know you Jack. No! I will see you folks again do? next week. <laughs> but for me, it's time to go get something huh? to drink. Get the buzzkill beer trimmer but and shave as always, beard, I'm leaving you with the commercials as I go get my refreshment. Bye, folks. For a bee soul patch. Hey, your bee beard looks great. I love you again. Thanks, Buzzkill. Who makes you look sharp without the sting? Buzz does. Also available, Hive Diver Bikini Wax. Each year, tens of dozens of puppeteers suffer serious hand injuries because they didn't use the proper lubrication before stuffing their hands into a puppet. These injuries can range from minor chafing and small blisters all the way to the loss of a limb and death. 
Luckily, there is a solution. Felt up hand puppet lube was specifically designed by scientists to provide the lubrication that feels good, but also keeps puppeteers safe. I feel good. Uh, my puppet feels good. And because of felt up, well, we're both healthy. If you or someone you love uses hand puppets, don't they deserve to get felt up? If I didn't get my son felt up when he was younger, he might not be here today. Felt up hand puppet lube for your loved ones. Feeling tired, groggy, sleepy? When you need an energy drink that'll get you going, try 3-Day Energy Drink. It's guaranteed to keep you wide awake and alert for up to three days at a time. Your mouth will hardly be able to keep up with your brain. I just had two of them and I've never felt more alert and alive. I mean, sure, my body's feeling a little tingly and my heart hurts and my teeth are chattering and I can't focus and my eyes are vibrating, but who cares? Because I just finished mowing my lawn and cleaning the bathroom and writing a novel and painting my house and building a garage. Who came up with that word garage anyway? It's such a weird word because it's got two G's, you know, and they're both pronounced differently. And it's like, who decided that? And one time I saw this guy at a bus stop and he had this weird ass. Fact. All babies are beautiful. Fact. Tanning beds are dangerous. Fact. Those last two facts are false. 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 Do you love your pasty white baby? You shouldn't. It's so ugly it wants me to make vomit noises. Gag, Gag you. you. Hi, I'm Bernie from Bernie's Baby Browning Tanning Beds. A healthy glow courtesy of me, Bernie, and my tanning bed will do wonders for your baby's lovability, not to mention the compliments. My baby browning tanning beds are as natural as the sun, concentrated into high-powered light bulbs radiating directly into your baby or infant skin from inches away. So come to Bernie's. It's a perfect time to say goodbye to those pesky diaper lines and say hello to a happy, sexy baby. And now, greatest, greatest moments in driving history. Oh man, I love this song. If only there were a way to let drivers around me know that I love this song. Ah, too bad you can't hear anything from outside these stupid rolled up windows. Wait a minute, what if I... This has been another installment of Greatest, greatest Moments in Driving History. Immigration, gay marriage, the Bill of Rights. Is it just me, or is America falling apart? I'm Lindsay St. Simone, and if you vote for me, I promise to construct a 40-foot concrete wall around the entire nation. No one will get in or out. Under my regime, I guarantee that my oppressive foot soldier militia will strip all citizens equally of their every right. Isn't it about time we got America back on track? This November, vote Lindsay St. Simone for fascist dictator. This message paid for by St. Simone Mini Golf and Go Kart on Route 16. Later tonight on the season premiere of Hoofs of Love. 18 women living in a house competing for the love of one famous.